Probably the worst moment of our lives is when either we or a loved one receives the diagnosis of cancer. It's a moment truly we face panic. But some of that is unnecessary. And the words I have today is for newly diagnosed cancer patients or members of the family. Yes, cancer is a very scary word. It's a scary process in negotiating oncologists and other doctors. There's tremendous confusion, propaganda, competing points of view. So let me say it straight. And this applies not only to a newly diagnosed cancer patient, but to every single one of us. We're all going to die. That's the worst case scenario, but it's the most certain scenario. Sooner or later, we all die. We get the cancer diagnosis, we think we're going to die sooner. And if we don't do something, it's, it's right, we will die sooner. Cancer is a great wake-up call that something is not right, which we have to address. We have to make it right if we're wrong. If we wake up, truly wake up to and research and look at the cancer question, we see we're, we are in mortal danger but it's not necessarily from the cancer, which we can do something about. The first great divide happens between mainstream medicine and what it will do for you and alternative or complementary medicine and what that can do for you. Cancer, yes, is dangerous. Most often we find out very late in the process but there is time to do something about it. The entire uh, point of view of mainstream oncologists is to either use chemotherapy, which is very toxic, everybody knows it, radiation therapy, which is also extremely toxic, and surgery. Those are your three basic options. None of these things address the cause of cancer. They don't do anything to change the cause, your, your own individual personal cause. Or addressing a human problem in the body with toxicity as a treatment is slightly barbaric to extremely barbaric, depending on your point of view promises suffering, and beyond five years in terms of life extension, about two to three percent of cancer patients will last beyond five years. So you will die and with normal cancer treatments and will die, maybe not tomorrow, next month, in six months, but Death is coming, whether it be from the cancer or increasing the toxic load of the body. Cancer treatments along these lines, you go to a hospital or a clinic and you get treated for X amount of time. Of course, with chemo, it can be very stretched out, radiation stretched out. But then this is the question. Even if you went with mainstream treatment, what do you do every day to make sure you don't die from cancer? In my approach, I don't recommend, usually recommend any of those three approaches, though sometimes, like with breast cancer, it can be so advanced that to try to address it naturally can be a very losing, long-term losing battle, very painful. 
So sometimes surgery is necessary. But in general, before we turn our, the boats of our lives into accepting more toxicity, which is in itself is a cause of cancer, chemotherapy is a treatment that causes cancer. They use that to treat cancer. Radiation, every single exposure to radiation increases our chance of getting cancer. So before we turn and embrace a total toxic approach, we can cut to the chase, assume the worst, meaning we get cancer, we have cancer. We have to treat it, we have to treat it aggressively. Do you want to know at stage two or three or four how aggressively? No. And take more tests that exposure to radiation to assess your cancer, increasing your chance of losing the war in your own personal battle against cancer. Just cheaper to assume the worst. You have cancer, worst case scenario, you have no choice but to radically change your life or die from your cancer. If we take the worst case scenario, we can start treating today, tomorrow, things that will help no matter what you choose. Even if you choose chemotherapy, even if you choose radiation, there are treatments that would help you defeat your cancer and protect you from these very hostile, toxic exposures. This video is not to talk about all the different aspects of my protocol, but they are so basic, like to increase oxygen. Cancer doesn't like oxygen, so we increase it. There are different ways of doing that. Hydrogen, carbon dioxide, magnesium, selenium, iodine, all of these things we can start bringing into our bodies that will help address the different causes of cancer, including getting a handle on our breathing, slowing our breathing down, increases our oxygen. There are many things that make sense to do, no matter what your diagnosis. Makes sense to continue to drink water, so it makes sense to learn how to breathe right, and many other things that are basic and simple, safe, effective. So yes, it's scary, but there are very basic, hardcore solutions that will address the causes. And if we successfully do that, we really increase our chances of surviving cancer.